Hi, I'm Jack and I'm here with Tyler. So I'd first like to start off by asking, what was like your inspiration to become part of Wigan or a rugby player, shall I say? Um, I think to be a rugby player, I think it was sort of out of my hands. Um, I played football at first, but I was a bit too, a bit too big and a bit too aggressive. So um, the coach pulled my mum to the side and he just said, oh, I don't think this sport's for him, but I think I know of another sport. And then I went down to Siddle for a training session and yeah, I just, just enjoyed it, loved it ever since. So what was the first club you kind of supported? Uh, I was actually a Leeds fan. Leeds uh, fan? Yeah, it was quite local to me. And I think that was, Leeds v Bradford was my first ever rugby game. So, um, yeah, I was a Leeds fan. Uh, but now I'm a Wigan fan, obviously. Definitely, 100%. So I also have another question. What do you do pre-game, you know, like preparing for a match? Yeah. Um, so it's a bit of a weird one. It depends sort of on the timing of the game. Um, but if it's, say, like it's a, an afternoon game, I just sort of, I wake up as late as I can. Um, try to stay in bed till 11, half 11, depending if it's a home or away game. And then literally get up, get a coffee, straight to the game. Uh, I like to get a little cup full of jelly babies and, yeah. and banana chips. So I like to eat them before a game. And then just as we're going out, I'll take a caffeine chewing gum um, and I make sure I have that in during the warm up. And then the only time I spit it out is when uh, we'll do so. We'll do like rug plays as soon as our set of rug plays is finished. That's when it comes out. So not before or after. It has to come out at the at the rug plays. Yeah. Does that kind of get you in the mood, ready to play? Yeah, definitely. And I think I don't even think the caffeine gum does out really, but um, it's just good to sort of take take my focus off it. I try not to have as much of a routine really. I just I just like to turn up definitely. and play. But yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have a role model that kind of inspired you to take this route of rugby? Um, I, I never really watched rugby uh, when I was younger, so I sort of just, whoever, whoever I was supporting at the time, then I just sort of took inspiration from them players, but obviously you've got your ones like Sam Burgess, where, where he was quite a big big part of what I wanted to achieve. Uh, Jared Warrior Argreaves as well, I'm a big fan of his, so um, yeah, I'd, I'd say probably them two were the ones that I looked up to the most. So I have another question, you know, going out to France, who would the one player that would you not want to sit next to on the plane? On the plane? Um, I'd have to say Ollie Wilson. Um, he's, he's an Halifax lad as well, and, and I know him quite well. And I know he's, he just yaps a little bit. And, yeah. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, avoid that. Uh, so I also have another question. If I was going to come over for a meal, what three courses would you cook for me? Oh, right. So, uh, oh, you put me on the spot here. I don't know, I like a little bit of fish starter, so probably like prawns or something like that, like a little prawn cocktail. Oh, definitely. That's why I have every Christmas prawn cocktail starter, so I'll probably, probably give you a little prawn cocktail starter. For the main, uh, I'm a big fan of gnocchi. Have you ever had gnocchi? Oh, I do, I do like a bit of gnocchi, yeah. yeah. So I have gnocchi knock, with, again, with prawns and chicken. Sounds good. So a little bit of that, um, nice tomato sauce. And then for pudding, I'm a, I'm a massive fan of sticky toffee pudding. So, yeah, I probably wouldn't make that, I'd buy that, but... That's what you'd be having at my house. Yeah. Are you ready for the France versus England game? Yeah, it's, I'm always ready for it. Um, it's something I've been looking forward to since pre-season finished. It's what I've been working towards and I'm happy to get to call up now. So, yeah, I'm buzzing, ready to go. Well, I'm really happy we've had this interview. Yeah, Thanks me too. Time. You've been really good. Thank you. Appreciate it.